Hi everyone, my name is Frankie, and welcome to a Movie A Day Challenge. Today is day number 233, and it's August 21st, 2018. Today I'll be watching the 1969 Armenian foreign film, The Color of Pomegranates. Now, in each episode of a Movie A Day Challenge, I pick one film that I've never seen before, and then I take that movie's movie poster and place it to the side of me. I do this because, well, I absolutely have no idea of what the film that I'm about to watch is about. And being that I have absolutely no clue about the film, or what it's about, I feel like I need to draw some type of conclusion of what I think the film may be about, based solely on the movie poster itself. In saying this, let's go ahead and take a look at the 1969 Armenian foreign film movie poster to the color of pomegranates. Now, for those of you wondering from yesterday's episode, today I was supposed to watch the infamous Germany foreign film Das Boot. And I say infamous because of one reason. They don't know specifically, I'm going to say this because I started the film, uh, and I, I, I use day as people in general, a specific runtime for a film. Now, originally, this movie, Das Boot, is supposed to be four and a half hours long. And I was like, oh, okay, it's a little odd. The version I have, however, is a director's cut, so you think maybe it's going to be longer than the original film. It's not. It's somehow shorter. At three hours and 34 minutes, and I go, oh, okay, no thank you. I'm not going to sit down for three and a half hours and watch a film. It, it makes no sense. I'm here to be entertained, not to feel like I'm going to be bored out of my mind. And then I go on IMDb, and I find out that the other version of Das Boot, right, this is another reason why it's infamous, is like two hours and like 28 minutes long. So no one, I, I mean, you know, in general on the internet, knows specifically how long this film is. When you put in Das Boot into Google, it just shows a 4 hours and 34 minute run. And then I see uh, 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 my version, and I'm like, 3 hours and 34 minutes? Like, what happened to the whole other hour? And then, finding on IMDb, it's 2 hours and 28 minutes. So, rather than to put you, the viewer, into this utter nonsense that I just experienced, I'd rather you not experience it, and just change the movie for the day. What movie? The 1969 Armenian foreign film, The Color of Pomegranates. Now, as I look at this movie poster, I'm not going to go ahead and try to, uh, like, say that person's name. I don't want to do anyone any, uh, any uh, distaste towards uh, pronunciation, but it is simply The Color of Pomegranates. And we see some pomegranate fruits, it looks like, uh, or cranberries, it looks like. Pomegranates are huge. What am I saying? The cranberries. Maybe those are the pomegranate little, uh, little small things, though. I'm going with it's the small pomegranates, maybe. Uh, small little uh, seeds on the inside of the pomegranate. And you see uh, what looks like, I guess, them using it as paint in some way, like a little, little stroke of, of juice of the pomegranate. Um, I don't know exactly what this can be re referencing. Maybe it's uh, just somebody really likes pomegranates. People, some person in Armenia. But uh, I'm looking forward to sitting down and enjoying a film of a normal length of time movie called the 1969 Armenian foreign film The Color of Pomegranates. Now, after I finish analyzing the movie poster itself, I then let you, the viewer, know that I'm going to go ahead and watch the 1969 Armenian foreign film The Color of Pomegranates. But before I go and do that, I want to let you, the viewer, know that after I finish watching the 1969 Armenian foreign film, The Color of Pomegranates, I then come back and tell you a little bit about the film. However, I don't go in great detail about the movie. You see, I don't tell you any major spoilers about the film, nor do I tell you anything about the plot of the film either. The reason why is because I don't want to ruin your chance of watching a really great film for the first time. And since this is also my first time watching the 1969 Armenian foreign film, The Color of Pomegranates, as well, I wouldn't want anyone telling me anything about the film, especially any spoilers or anything about the plot of the film, either. It ruin my chance of being entertained for the first time while watching the film. Now, just 
if you've possibly seen the 1969 Armenian foreign film The Color of Pomegranate previously, please feel free to substitute this film for another movie you have never seen before. It doesn't even have to be in the genre of foreign movies. This way you too can watch a film for the first time and partake in a movie a day challenge without having to watch something you've previously seen before. And enjoy it and be entertained because that's what a movie a day challenge is all about. Taking part in a movie a day challenge and possibly watching each film along with me as I go along. In saying this, I'm going to go ahead right now and watch the 1969 Armenian foreign film, The Color of Pomegranates, and then I'm going to come back and tell you a little bit about the film. I'll be right back. I just finished the 1969 Armenian foreign film, The Color of Pomegranates. And I want to let you, the viewer, know that The Color of Pomegranates, in my opinion, is not that great of a film. In fact, it's not that good of a film. It's borderline really bad, and I don't want to say the T word, but it's terrible. Why? Well, this movie has absolutely no narrative. There is no dialogue in this film. None. The, what happens is that they're basically scenes acted out by either one person, another person with that person, or a group of people with that same original person in the scene. And we're not talking about like acting out like, oh, it's like miming or something like that. We're talking about it's a no-holds-barred Royal Rumble type action sequence going on. L let me explain. You see how I'm like centered in this... Uh, uh, th this screen right here? Okay. So, there's a woman in this movie who the, the camera's only on the woman, and she begins the scene with holding a white veil and then putting it down. Now, I'm not giving you any spoilers because I'm just showing you what I saw. Then, it goes to the woman holding two flowers and then a skull. A human skull. And then... Two, like, uh, a staff and, and, and a chicken on her arm. A staff and a live chicken on her arm. There is no dialogue. There is nothing like, oh, what's... It? If I would have walked in on this film... No, say, say I was sitting down watching this film, and my fiancé, who's at work right now, would have came home and saw me watching this. She would have gone, what the hell are you watching? What are you watching? And then, the, the great parts of this movie is, is that... The, the, the songs in this film don't even match up with what's going on. So in the beginning, you're, you're, you're told that it's like a, a film about a poet. That's all I'm going to say. Film about a poet. And you're thinking, oh, that, that seems interesting. So I'm waiting to see, like, you know, the dialogue, or waiting to hear somebody speak. Nothing. You just see scenes of actions going on. This is like, for those of you who have been to New York City... You go into the Modern Museum of Art, right? You walk into some type of uh, new type of uh, show they got going on there. And you walk in and you see somebody uh, in a video. And the video is someone taking a pitcher of water and just pouring it into a cup. They don't drink it. They just look down at the water. And then somehow it reverses and the water goes back into the pitcher, back down. And it's just that endless loop. That's what basically this movie is. Little scenes of crazy scenes of artsy weirdness. Artsy weirdness. I definitely would not recommend this film to a friend or family member. And definitely I would not watch this film again. Uh, being that there is no like narrative in this movie whatsoever. Uh, I really feel that like it's not really the worst of the worst for a movie day challenge. Still can't blood floor. Uh, but uh, to be quite honest, uh, I, I just didn't like it. You may like this movie. You may really like it. I don't know why, but you may really like this. But please, don't take just my opinion for it. Watch this film for what it is and enjoy the 1969 Armenian foreign film, The Color of Pomegranates. It's a film you will remember. Now, if you like today's episode, you see that thumbs up underneath this video, click it. Give us a like for today's episode. As you're doing that, maybe you've seen the 1969 Armenian foreign film, The Color of Pomegranates, and liked it. Maybe you've seen it and you didn't like it. Maybe you're interested in watching the film, you're just gathering some information about the movie, and then you're going to go watch the film for yourself, and then come back and write something. 
Whatever the three may be, please tell me in the comment box down below. And as you're doing that, you see that word subscribe, click it. Subscribe to a movie a day challenge. Now, tomorrow is day number 234 of a movie a day challenge. And I'll be watching the 1985 Japanese foreign film, Ron. My name is Frankie. I will be here tomorrow for day number 234 in the 1985 Japanese foreign film, Ron. I will see you tomorrow.